Hi, it's Trav Bucketless Guy here, and we have 101 days, 101 days to go until the Melbourne Ironman. And there's a couple of things that I wanted to do in this video diary. <clears throat> before I before I started this video diary, I realised that I haven't been doing that many of them lately because I've been training so so bloody hard, <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'm either too bo I'm too stuffed to do these, or um, yeah, or I'm just I, I finish and then I get focused on the next one. One of the hardest things about about doing this is being prepared, you know, having all your bike gear already, you know, washed and ready to go, or your run gear or your swim gear. And there's a lot of gear that you have to get organised, um, and you know, it, it's a bit of bit of messing around, and it makes a bit of a, a to be honest, it's a bit of an impact on my wife, and in terms of, um, you know, hardly ever see each other. I mean, I'll give you an example. It's one of the things I wanted to show you. Um, that's, <clears throat> that's an example of my week. So, we've got AM and PM, Monday to Friday. So, pretty much, there's two hours of training, pretty much. Mondays we've got off. Uh, Tuesday and, yeah, Tuesday morning, Tuesday night is kind of like one hour, uh, one hour, one and a half hours. I just did a four-hour ride this morning, which is a Wednesday morning. Tomorrow morning, we've got another hour and a half, and then another two hours. Thursday night, then swim squad for an hour and a half. Then we've got Friday, Friday off. <clears throat> and then the weekend is basically mor morning, uh, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning, until about one o'clock in the middle of the day. Um, so, <clears throat> one, two, three, four... So, about, yeah, you've got about five blocks off during the week. So there's not a lot of time for other people. Um, this would be especially hard if you if you <clears throat> worked a nine-to-five job where you had kids. Um, it's very, very time-consuming. Um, yeah, we're in what we call a strength overload phase. A strength overload phase is... Um, so we're writing what Coach Wright's programs and what they call... Um, periodized program so you do a build up build up build up and then rest build up build up build up and then rest so it's all designed to gradually overload the body gradually overload um, you know or gradually build up your strength um, to the point where you get stronger and stronger and stronger and you build up and build up and um, that's the whole idea, and interspersed within our training diaries is also some uh, some races. So having never really done a triathlon before, I've now had to enter a half Ironman, which is going to be down in Torquay in Victoria, Australia, and also uh, just after New Year's Day, there's going to be a Olympic distance triathlon, which is 1.5k swim. 40k bike ride and a 10k run <clears throat> and uh, yeah so that's um, the third or quarter of what what we've got so you can see the, the gradual build up process anyway I'm rambling on um, I have to do more of these updates very shortly when I'm less tired it's time to eat right now and I'm gonna I'm gonna Go crazy at the cafe. Bye.